Hey guys, Ryan with Cycle News. Check it out, a little bit different than SoCal, a little bit different intro this time. We're in Italy, uh, in the city de Castella at Crossodromo. This is one of the coolest motocross tracks I've been to. They do some national Italian championships here. And we're here for the 2024 Gas Gas model launch. We got the Enduro bikes and we got the motocross bikes. For this video, I'm gonna be focusing on the Enduro models, which we spent all morning riding. And then in the afternoon, we're gonna to jump to some of the motocross riding and the motocross bikes out on the track, which they're getting prepped for us. But so for this morning, we were riding the EC250, 300, and 450 models. There are some other models that are here, but those, the 250, 300, and 450 models are gonna be the US models that are gonna be imported to US. Some of the other models we're not gonna cover because those are not gonna be available for the United States customers. There is an EW500F, which will be a 50 state compliant 500cc enduro model, um, but that one is not here today, we didn't ride that. So for 2024, some new changes to the Gas Gas model line. This is the first big model change since the brand was introduced under the KTM umbrella. So we're gonna get new frame, new swing arm, new shock mount, new bodywork, new engines, uh, very similar to the changes you've seen on the KTM and the Husqvarna brands. For the two strokes, you're gonna get TBI, the throttle body injection, the fuel injection system for the two strokes. Um, and you're gonna find that on the 250 and the 300 two stroke models. And then on the 450 four stroke model, same thing, new frame, new swing arm, uh, new engine. Let's start with the two strokes. We rode the 250 and the 300. Some of the big differences you'll find between this bike and maybe the KTMs that we rode a few weeks back at uh, the US intro, you're still gonna get the fuel injection TBI system, so no carburetors anymore. And it does have this oil tank up front, very similar to the TPI bikes from the previous generation. You're gonna put oil into that gas or into that tank up front, but you can run straight gas in these bikes. So if you're riding with guys who are on four strokes or you're dual sporting and you run out of fuel and you can stop at a fuel station, you can just put straight gas into that bike. I think that's a really cool feature personally. Uh, you don't have to carry a water bottle of, ga or of oil and have to mix it anymore. You don't have to carry pre-mix with you and have to do that. Uh, a few differences between the KTM and the Gas Gas. There is obviously a price difference between the two bikes. About six to $800 less for a Gas Gas model than for a KTM. And then obviously the Husqvarna is gonna be more expensive than both of those bikes. So you don't get things like the map switch, you don't get the quick shifter or anything like that that you would maybe find on some of the other models like the KTM. So while the two strokes and the four strokes don't have that map switch as standard, you can get them as an option. The same ones that come on the Husqvarna and the KTMs, you can put those on. We, had, we got to ride with those today to try out the different maps, the smoother setting and the more aggressive setting. Like I said, those are gonna be aftermarket uh, options that you can put onto the bike later on. Another thing that's gonna work with the price differences, you're gonna get silver wheels, you're gonna get cast triple clamps, um, and you're gonna get the Explore fork up front. That's kind of a difference. It's what came on the previous model. Um, now on the KTM, you're gonna get the new closed cartridge exact fork. This is the open cartridge Explore fork. It's a softer feeling, which is nice, especially for some of the tighter Enduro stuff. You can really bounce it around and get into those tight sections. But if you're gonna hit a harder you know, transition or rocks, it's a little bit harsher and a little bit less consistent um, a little more bottoming you would feel on the gas gas than you would on the KTM. The KTM might be a little bit stiffer, a little racier than something like the gas gas. You do get these uh, finger adjusters on the fork and the shock, which are really cool if you wanna dial in the compression. Um, you can do that really easily without tools and you can just do it right on the trail. So that's another thing I like about the gas gas uh, and all the new WP components. So if you're breaking down the differences between the 250 and the 300, the 250 is really racy. Um, I've noticed it a lot more today than I have in the past, that the 250 has a little bit better hit, uh, a, little, a little racier, a little more peppy feel than the 300. I would say if you're gonna race a bike, I would definitely go with the 250. Um, and if you're gonna do more tight riding, more hard enduro style riding, the 300 is gonna be better for that. You can ride nice and slow. You can really chug it and lug it along like you would a four-stroke. It's like the four-stroke of the three hundred or of the two-stroke models. It's the most four-stroke like. You can be lazy. You can cruise around. You can go up the tight stuff, down the steep stuff, really easily. Where the 250 is kind of more of a race style bike. It's got a little more pep in it. You clutch it a little more. You want to keep it higher up in the revs, and it responds better from the mid to top, I believe, than the. 300 does. The 300 has a little bit better from uh, low to mid, that crawl ability to get up those hills and to tractor it around in some of the tight stuff, where the 252 stroke is gonna be a little more fun from that mid to top 
faster step. Another big difference with the gas gas models is you are gonna have a linkage system for the rear shock where the KTM is the PDS or progressive damping system, which has mounted the shock to the swing arm. Um, it's kind of personal preference, I think. I, it's hard to tell back to back, not riding a KTM here, um, but I know on the KTM you have a little bit more ground clearance. The hard enduro guys kind of favor that, where the gas gas does have that linkage. It might be a little more consistent with the linkage as it's gonna stay planted to the ground. Uh, having the linkage on the gas gas is kind of a little bit more familiar. I feel like you get a little bit more squat in that rear end to keep it planted where the the uh, gas or the KTM was a little bit maybe taller, uh, but it does have that ground clearance. So kind of something to weigh back and forth uh, if that's what you're riding. Kind of knowing the conditions you're going to be riding is what bike you're going to want to pick. So kind of wrapping up the two strokes and moving on to the four stroke, the 450 model is what we got to ride today. And personally, I love that engine. I loved it when it was on the KTM a few weeks ago. It's just a velvety smooth engine. It's so fun to ride, so easy to ride. You could ride it all day and not wear yourself out like a motocross 450 where it's got a lot of engine braking and a lot of pull back and forth. It is a little bit heavier, you're gonna notice between a, a two stroke, but riding the 450 is so fun. It's really smooth. Um, really butter on the throttle. You can get up all the tight, all the steep hills, and then you can also get really in the tight stuff and just have a lot of fun with it. Again, this bike does have the capabilities for traction control and quick shift, as well as the two maps, but for the gas gas, it's not gonna come standard. If you're gonna want to get one of these bikes and you want that, it's an optional add-on that you can get from your dealership. So kind of wrapping a couple things up, I always like to make this analogy with the gas gas brand. Your, the Gas Gas KTM and Husqvarna brands, I believe, are very similar to the automotive industry of the Chevy, the GMC, and the Cadillac. The Gas Gas lets customers get in on a lower price point, but still get a lot of the same technology that you're gonna find in the KTM group, the reliability, the raceability. I believe if you're not really super priority on the racing, then the Gas Gas brand is gonna be something that you're gonna wanna go for. It's the more fun brand. We're here at the Spice It Up Festival fun party that's the brand for gas gas we're having a blast going to spend some more time riding today and uh hopefully get some of these bikes back home and bring some more videos to you guys be sure to like follow and subscribe thanks so much for watching we'll see you at the next one